this video, I am going to talk about a real life situation where an external mid-mount control valve might be added to a tractor to control some add-on equipment, say a front end loader or um, a different type of attachment. I am currently standing in a dealer lot and I'm looking at a smaller tractor, it's a Kubota. Uh, this would be a tractor that would work well with the control valve that we sell. Now this control valve that we sell is sold with a joystick handle directly attached to it for local control, um, but you can also attach a uh, joystick and cables to it. And that's what I'm just going to kind of explain here, a real life situation where you might be using a control valve and adding a joystick and cables to it. And then in the second part of the video, uh, I'll be showing a technician actually removing the joystick handle from the control valve and then putting on the joystick and cables. As you can see here, this Kubota tractor has a front end loader, which is going to be controlled hydraulically. You can see these hydraulic lines running down. And then inside the cab, there's a factory joystick, which is going to be controlling the front end loader. And then back here, you've got a snow blower. The snow blower, the main part of it is being controlled with the PTO, but the snow spout is being con controlled hydraulically. You can see the two hydraulic lines here, and then those hydraulic lines are going up to the rear remotes, and then that's how they're being controlled from inside the cab with the factory joystick that goes to the rear, that controls the rear remote. Um, but this might be a situation with the snow spout back here where you'd want to add a external control valve to leave these rear remotes free. Now, of course, in this case, you'd only need uh, the two ports because you've just got the two hoses. Um, so you just need the two ports for controlling. Um, the, the control valve that we sell has four ports, um, but the principle is, is the same. Uh, you'd be probably adding uh, the external valve maybe to this post here, and then you'd be running the cables down under the cab up through the floor and then um, to a joystick that you'd be mounting inside the cab. To walk through what that would look like if you had the control valve mounted here with the cables running down under, you'd have the cables running under the cab, coming through the floor, uh, probably coming out right in that area, and then you'd have a joystick mounted uh, probably either from the floor, from the console, or maybe even from the inside the cab. In this part of the video, a technician is removing the joystick which is directly attached to the control valve and replacing it with cables which then are connected to a joystick which is mounted a little distance from the control valve. The video will show each step and it'll take a little bit just to show each of these steps, but we've chosen to leave all the details in um, just because if a person is doing it, it can be really helpful just to see each individual step. So the this valve would normally have a little bit of a longer handle um, screwed into it. What you're seeing taken off here are the joints which attach the locally controlled joystick directly to the control valve. And what this will do is it will reveal the spools, which then the um, cables are attached to with some different types of hardware. And then um, the cables are anchored to the valve body and then the joystick controls the cables, which in turn move the spools back and forth in the control valve.
In this video, what I've shown is a real life situation where you might want to add an external control valve onto a tractor to control some add-on equipment. In this case, we talked about adding it onto a tractor to control the spout of a snowblower. If you are going to be adding it to a tractor to control, say you're adding a front end loader, in this case, of course, you have a factory loader and a factory joystick that it's being controlled with. Um, but there's a lot of situations where you might be adding a front end, a front end loader to a tractor too, and then needing a way to control it. Um, so you could use that control valve um, that we're discussing in this video to control this front end loader as well. And then because this is a compact tractor with a cab, you'd be wanting to put, you'd most likely be wanting to put cables on that control valve and then um, running those cables up from the floor, through the floor of the cab to the joystick inside.